are you going to call, Jake? Ghostbusters! <laughs> <laughs> Damn! My butt pocket! Hello Hello there! there. I'm Robert. And I'm Vanessa. And we are late to the party. It's another episode of Better Better Late Late Than Never. Never! Comedy edition! So you guys voted on our party planning committee to bring us a comedy that either both of us or one of us have not seen. And Blues Brothers is one that has been elusive to both of us our entire lives yeah john landis has uh, the history but when it comes to certain comedies they're some of our favorites yes. three amigos trading places love coming to love america it. love it and blues brothers 1980 this was the one that he did before all those other ones right. so i mean this one uh john belushi dan Aykroyd, and uh from what i hear cameos and music and singing but Sleep other, than other that, people <laughs> yeah i don't know much about this movie yeah me neither uh, I know that they got an iconic car because we see it all the time when we go to Comic Con. It's always there, um, and that they travel. I'm assuming, but it's that, like a road trip movie. I yeah, think. Yeah, that's that's pretty much all I know. I don't really know like plot details or anything like that. Neither do I. And it's funny because other movies gave me insight as to things that happened in this movie. Right. Mission from God. I know that from the movie Paul. I'm on a mission from God. Tell him you failed. I know Henry Gibson is in it because he's Dr. Klopek in The Burbs. Other than that, though, I mean, I'm excited to experience it with you guys for the first time because really, we don't know anything about this movie. So really looking for and they have a thing at universal studios every they once do. in a while they come out and they sing but yeah. i think i know the theme song for it meh, 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 meh. but for all i know that's something elvis came out to but or it could be both <laughs> but if you want to check out our full watch along to this movie or any of the movies on better late than never they're available on our patreon and if you have not subscribed click the subscribe button so you know when we drop episodes for better late than never or just Anything on the channel. Eighty <laughs> percent of you guys who watch our channel are not subscribed, so join the party. But let's get into for the first time the Blues Brothers now. now. The height of industrial. Not how I thought the movie would start. No. Chicago. Wake up. Let's go. It's time. <laughs> that sound effect. Weird sound effect there, right? It's like Indiana Jones when he punches people. True, but I feel like it's understandable there. That is a cool shot, though. Yeah. Like, if you're going to shoot in a prison, use the prison to your advantage. Right. Looks like Bobby from the Ernest movies. Oh, it's the blast door. Look at the blast door. I wonder this movie's two and a half hours. It's taking forever just walking through the prison. I know. Is there a fast travel anywhere? <laughs> wing. Maximum wing, block nine. Oh, shit. It's Frank Oz, and he's playing his character, it looks like, from Trading Places, which I guess it would be this first, then Trading Places second. It's all connected. I know, yeah. Coming to America is connected to Trading Places, too. He's going to go through a list of stuff. Jake. Oh. La Bohème. It's an opera. One unused prophylactic. Just in case. One soiled. <laughs> Boots. Black. One black suit jacket. One pair of black suit pants. One hat. Black. black. <laughs> it's a style. Sign here. <laughs> he you gotta stay the behind the yellow line. Oh. It's a hell of a reveal. Oh, the color in the background. Hey, brother. Blues Brothers. Nice. (laughs) (laughs) That's a great way to uh, show their their names. Yeah. Also, Dan Dan Aykroyd Aykroyd. and John Landis wrote it. Yeah. Where's the Cadillac? The Caddy. You know, the throw out the freaking lighter. This was a bargain. My own brother picks me up in a police car. Inconspicuous. The irony. (laughs) What are you doing? What are you doing? 
<laughs> oh, that is. <laughs> it's got cop tires, cop suspension, That's cop true. shocks. The works. It's the new Blues Mobile. Fix a cigarette lighter. He threw it out the window. You promised you'd visit the penguin the day you got out. No fucking way. I mean, you guys are dressed like penguins, too. That's why they were allowed to say it. Oof. That's are you there, God? It's me. <laughs> <laughs> That's intimidating. Yeah. He judging you. We've got that Holy Spirit. <laughs> Doors are magical. I know. Nice to see you. She's in a whole bunch of movies, too. Is she the teacher in Hocus Pocus? She is the teacher in Hocus Pocus, yeah. <laughs> She's the lady that's cooking on the TV show on Gremlins 2. In Gremlins 2. She does the cooking show. Yep. <laughs> How often did you do that with your desk where you just never got out of the damn chair? You just moved it around? Every single time? Uh-huh. When you had those type of... Desks. True. They want five thousand dollars. Five thousand dollars. I had no idea it would be so much. I won't pay it. Dan Aykroyd. Yep. <laughs> five grand, no problem. We'll have it for you in the morning. I will not take your filthy stolen money. I guess you're really up shit creek. <laughs> <laughs> With the ruler. You're in a tight spot. I guess you're really up shit creek. Ow! Double down. What? Oh, Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Language. 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 Blasphemy. Fuck, penguin. Ah! Ah! <laughs> oh, oh, damn. Noise, she got the switch. She's like a freaking lightsaber. Hey, he's still in the chair. <laughs> Jedi nun. <laughs> he's still in the chair. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> he's still in the chair. <laughs> oh, damn. That was a hell of a stunt. <laughs> Get out. And don't come back. That would have been funny if she was like, now fuck off. <laughs> oh. Oh. <Whoa. laughs> Gotta learn not to talk to nuns that way. Who the hell is this guy? Curtis. Oh, That's man. Curtis. It's Curtis. <laughs> Ain't gonna sell this place to the Board of Education, and I'll be out on the street. Now it's the plot for Sister Act 2. You boys could use a little churching up. You get wise, you get to church. We gotta make that move towards redemption. We gotta go to church. Bullshit. Aw, oh, they're good boys, though. We get the hot flashes for Jesus. Praise Jesus! <laughs> this week's sermon is from our beloved. Freaking James Brown? Yeah, it looks like it. That is a church I would go to. James Brown was the preacher? That's me at church. <laughs> nice pipes. And she ain't talking about the organ. Yeah. There you go. We have like a dance number. Yeah. He's going to feel the vibrations. Vanessa's going to get the Holy Spirit all through her body. <laughs> Love those cuts. Get it. Look at that. I love it. Yeah, oh, you feel it. He's getting it. He feels it. He feels the vibrations. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect. And the, the, the <laughs> Have you seen the light? Yes. Jesus ain't Christ. Let's go. Hell yeah. There you go. Get in, get out real quick. The band, I would. Man. You do put on a show. The band. Yeah, go. I love those socks. <laughs> uh, Dan Aykroyd, man. Such a talent. Go. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe do some burpees while you're at it. Oh, I'm exhausted. I know. <laughs> Yeah, I'd be that girl right there passing out. There it goes. Those feet, man. James yeah. Brown. Ooh. Got a trampoline in there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Woo! Yeah. Amazing.
If there's a church and they're doing trampoline backflips during the service, you better believe I'll be there. You were supposed to keep in touch with the band. I kept asking you if we were gonna play again. Well, what was I gonna do? Take away your only hope? I took the liberty of bullshitting you. Okay. Sometimes you gotta friend. do that. Yeah. <laughs> Don't give an F about nothing. Uh. Pull over. No, it's a cardigan, but thanks for noticing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, keep those sunglasses on. I bet those cops have got squads. Got a record? Uh oh. Oh no! Oh no! Gotta oh, go. Oh no. Step out of the vehicle, please. No wood. Step out of the car, please. Hold on. See you tight. Welp. Now you're on the lamb. They're not gonna catch us. We're on a mission from God. Yeah, there it is. Hellwood. <laughs> Hell yeah. Oh no! Yes, do you have a Miss Piggy? Oh no! <laughs> what are you doing? Poor Toys R Us. Miss Piggy was at the beginning of the movie. Okay, that looks like a Toys R Us Express. Yeah, not <laughs> quite the same. No. <laughs> Oh, there's a theme song. I've heard that song before. No! Oh, mannequin. <laughs> with people. So dangerous. Yeah. No, not the bakery. This place has got everything. <laughs> well, it is a mall. Right you won't be able to rent early this year. <laughs> Their little commentary on every shot. Right. Oh my god. The mess. I mean, you gotta figure that's fun though, just driving a car crashing into uh, True, shops in a mall. I, just yeah. to make the movie. It feels bad for all the people having to clean it all up. That show business. Pier 1 Imports couldn't even spring for the good Now that's just what song. I call window shopping. Damn! I'm and digging then these right shots. Right in the jewels. <laughs> Oof. Oh, right into the camera. Yeah. Maybe it's JCPenney still around. Pier 1 Imports was there. That's still around, too. They broke it? my watch. I thought so. <laughs> I'm going to catch that sucker. Oh, yeah. Me, me. Was it Peter Gunn? Spy Hunter? Dang. Made by the guy who did the uh, Pink Panther theme song. You can hear it. They got some similarities to mm -hmm. them. Henry Mancini, I believe. That's a tight squeeze. There you go, lay low. Yeah. Let the heat die down. Hey, hey. Carrie Fisher! With the Aww. light across her eyes. Rest in peace. Dang! What are you doing? Is <laughs> that a rocket launcher? <laughs> yeah, it looks like it. Well, that escalated. Yeah. What the hell? What are you doing? Damn. That uh -oh. was a hell of a drive-by. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Carry on. Just another Tuesday. <laughs> Did you get me my cheese wheels, boy? He had that the whole time? Thinking dinner. They got your name, your address. No, they don't got my address. Put down 1060 West Addison. All right, good thinking. Yeah. Strictly Field. Iconic. Just toast. Eventually, you just drown out the sounds of the trains because you just hear them so often living right there. True. Honestly, I feel like I, I'd be asleep the whole time because of, like, that ambiance sound. I just... Pff. Pass out. Whenever they come and they like do landscaping around our place, like it puts me right to sleep. So yeah. And she's back. Back again. Uh oh. I mean, is anyone gonna do anything about the you know explosion that took place? Is it John Candy? This gentleman is the elegant yes. abode of one Elwood <laughs> Blues. You know, I kind of like the Wrigley Field bit. Yeah, real cute. Oh. I did not know John Candy was in this, did but it know? makes sense. Yeah. <laughs> What is it doing? 
Stand back. Uh, I like it, because you can see them. Oh, what the? What? Oh, oh shit! Oh, my God. <laughs> Dang, girl! What the hell is going on? She got some sort of vendetta against them or something. What's extreme? There are so many people in there. Yeah. Nice touch on the brick sound. Uh -huh. It's almost 9 o'clock. We've got to go to work. You're so nonchalant. I love it. <laughs> what about everyone else? Uh, okay. <laughs> Dang. That was a good stunt, too. Yeah. Especially when they fell through the floor. Is it hairspray? Uh, I didn't even recognize him without the black jacket. Oh, no, I noticed that he was there. <laughs> what, what are you supposed to do? She's just like, that's fine. <laughs> I gotta quit. Why is that, Elwood? I'm going to become a priest. <laughs> well, okay. Doing the Lord's work. Good luck. God bless you, sir. Next time I quit a job, that's what I'm going to say. <laughs> God bless you, sir. Well, I'm going to say I'm going to become a priest. Oh, okay. <laughs> then a God bless you, sir. Bones Malone and Blue Lou Marini. Lord works in mysterious ways. Yep. I love their line deliveries. Just like very like smooth. It is, could, yeah. yeah. It's calm and casual. Yeah. <laughs> After this short break, till then, don't you go changing. <laughs> what was that little? I can't even do it. Mm. <laughs> the reason he got locked in the slam in the first place, he pulled that job to pay for the band's room service tab from that Kiwanis gig in Cold City. We're putting the band back together. Forget it. Mr. Fabulous is the top maitre d' at the Shea Paul. Where is Matt Guitar Murphy? He opened a soul food restaurant with his old lady on Maxwell Street. We're on a mission from God. That's two. No, sir. Mayor Daly no longer dines here. He's dead, sir. Oh, oh no. Why, heavens, no. We seek a full meal and all the compliments of the house. The squares. Yeah. Oh. Good evening, Shea <laughs> with Paul. The R. Wait, hey! Are they going to pull the... All right, we'll leave. If you promise to join the band... <laughs> Babes, classy. <laughs> we have a Dom Perignon, 71 at 120. Oh, Paul Rubens! <laughs> Pee Wee Herman! <laughs> Paging Mr. Herman, you have a telephone call at the front desk. We're on a mission from God. That's three. We'd like to move to another table. I mean, they smell bad. All right, if that's the case, I get understandable. it. Understandable. Yeah. Wrong glass, sir. <laughs> Upset the establishment. Uh, woo! Ten points. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Nice sauce. Yeah. How much for the little girl? Damn. The women. Your women. I I, I want to buy your women. Oh the little girl. I love her. They're trolling them. You know. Yeah. Um. Yeah, he's just doing it to fuck with them. When is he going to ask me to call the cops? Elwood and I will come here for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Blackmail. Oh. <laughs> okay, okay, I'll play. You got me. Oh, jeez. White women. Is that Henry Gibson? Oh, oh my God. <laughs> Henry Gibson, what are you doing? Well, Shit don't change. No. Fucking Nazi party. <laughs> Yeah. The fucking the, Nazi party. The fucking Nazi party. I hate Eleanor Nazis. Yeah. Or just Nazis oh, in oh. general. <laughs> but especially the Illinois chapter. Oh, here we go. Oh, shit. Fuck out of the way. Yeah. <laughs> nice. Yes. We're going to kill that son of a bitch. Oh, uh, yeah, a bunch of people not yeah, coming after them. <laughs> now we're going to have a whole uh, crew of people trying to take them down. Yeah. Love the soundtrack for this movie already. Oh, delicious. Me, that you love. I love that talk. Music, universal language. 
And I love how they're spending time with the community as well, yeah. showing the wares, showing the neighborhood, showing the people in the neighborhood, enjoying it. Yeah. <laughs> I'll have some toasted white bread, please. Bring me four fried chickens and a coke. They look like they're from the CIA or something. The men in black. What do you want to eat? White bread. Elwood. Four whole fried chickens. And Jake shit the blues, brother. Yeah. <laughs> what are you doing? What are you doing? How was Joliet? Oh, it's bad. We're on a mission from God. I've lost count. Is that like four or five? Take a drink to that. Damn right. Oh, shut up, woman. Oh, yeah, yeah. girl. They're like, you know what? We'll take her. We'll take her on the road. <laughs> I'm wondering, too, like, I'm sure there's plenty of people that are in this movie that are artists and musical artists that I just, I know James Brown, but that's pretty much it. But I'm sure there's plenty more that are just. I'm sure she's one, too. Yeah, there you go. Get into it. Hey! Those horns. Yeah, girl. <laughs> Best book. No. Well, he thought about it. Then don't come back. Nope. Shit. What's your deal? What are you doing? A flamethrower? I mean, nails on point. It looks like she was kissing. I couldn't tell which Blues Brother it was, but it looked like she was kissing Jake in one of the photos. Ex-girlfriend? Mm. Maybe. Now he's got to get the equipment. Oh, hell yeah. What? Ray Charles. Yes. An employee of Ray's Music Exchange must Race? be present. May I help you? We need pianos, amps, mics, Careful. and works. Oh, damn. I mean, really, Ray, it's used. There's, there's no action left in this keyboard. He's like, uh, let me demonstrate for you. Uh -huh. <laughs> no action. Right into another song. Yep. I mean, you can't have Ray Charles without a song. I know. Yeah, you got to use him when you got him. <laughs> yeah. I just love the dance numbers that are breaking out everywhere. Yeah. Do it right. Uh -huh. <laughs> Shake it up. I'm going to be dancing for the rest of the day. I know! <laughs> Cock a car. <laughs> oh, yeah, yes. little kids. I always love when you see like the kids dancing. It reminds me of like Ferris Bueller, you know, where you just have everybody doing it. It isn't just professional dancers. Right. You got the kids, you got some old folks. And the community once again. Again. Otra vez. And as usual, I gotta take an owl you. <laughs> oh no. You wanna keep that one? <laughs> this, that one's for the car. Hojos. <laughs> they cross out the old name, put the booze brothers. Uh, Jake, does this phone call concern our first gig? Have I ever lied to you? Uh, yeah. <laughs> it's not lying, it's bullshitting. <laughs> we don't got no gig. How much money you got? I got a quarter. Enough for a phone call. Come on. Not then. Oh, careful with that big ass propane tank right next to you guys. No. Oh. Uh, Who are you gonna call, Jake? Ghostbusters! <laughs> <laughs> it walked right into that one. Uh, uh oh. Gonna blow it up. Oh shit. Ah! Oh no! It's a TARDIS now. Or Bill and Ted's. And what then you just drag away? Do? Don't you want to I know seal you, the deal? You gotta verify that you were successful. Oh my god. <laughs> there you go. Hey, Money. That's <laughs> all reaching oh, for. Oh boy. I'm surprised that you're painting it. Yeah. I know. Leave it white. No color. 1060 West Addison. Let's go. Oh, jeez. You're gonna end up at Wrigley. Yeah. Cubs win. Cubs win. Anybody with that kind of record is going to make a mistake. It's an awesome shot. Yeah. He better pray the police get to him before we do. Damn, Henry Gibson. I thought Dr. Klopek was bad, but whew. Bob's Country Bunker. Here we are. Doesn't seem like a place that takes kindly to the blues, huh? Tonight only the good old boys. Must be some kind of mistake. You gotta pull a concert out your ass. We're the band. You are 
Oh, gee, that's nice. What kind of music do you usually have here? So we got country and western. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and he gets some country blues going. Oh, yeah, it's like uh, Roadhouse behind the chicken coop. Chicken wire? Uh-huh. What do you say we set up for a sound check? That way they don't throw stuff at you and hit you. Uh, yeah. There is a list of the songs that you boys will be playing tonight. Uh-oh. Packed up nicely. Yeah, yeah. Oh, this list doesn't mean anything. They're just requests. Yeah. Uh, not liking it. Well, my temperature's rising and my feet on the floor. This just reminds me of Days of Thunder. Chance. Uh, Why'd they turn off the lights? Remember the theme from Rawhide? The old favorite, Rowdy Yates. Oh, jeez. Rolling, rolling, rolling. Oh, rain and wind and weather. Jeez. Dude's getting into the Rawhide music. <laughs> oh. What are you gonna do yeah. there, eh, Dick? Yeah. Okay, put a little sound effects to it. Ooh. They love that shit. Thank you. Splatter with the beer. Stand by your man when nights are cold and lonely. And tell the gonna cry in his beer. What about the other band? Are they gonna show up and be I like, know. what the hell? Stand by your man. Where are people still throwing shit? Because they're excited. It gets the people going. <laughs> Damn, dude, but that glass is flying through. <laughs> Again. Yeah. They probably only did like three songs. Because it's all they know. Over, over, over. Yeah. Let's get the hell out of here. And the band never showed up. $200, and you boys drank $300 worth of beer. Damn. Uh, we figured, you know, beer was like complimentary for the band, you uh -uh. know? Uh-uh. Nope. Uh-uh. That's bullshit. Uh... What? Quit? The framing yeah. on that. Yeah. They want us to pay for the beer we drank. Better get out. You don't mess with them country folk. Nah. If the shit fits, where? Scoot over, <laughs> goddammit. <laughs> sure. <laughs> <laughs> if the shit fits, wear it. <laughs> That's how I handle my wardrobe. If the shit fits, wear it. <laughs> A little late. They're really late. I'm talking with Kilroy, lead singer, driving. He's from Austin Powers. He's like the general. See if we can put your band on contract waivers for tonight. Get in the car and start her up. Uh -oh. oh, now they're gonna have them chasing oh, after them? Oh, jeez, yeah. We're the good old boys. You're the good old boys. <laughs> Why are they so late, though? It doesn't work. Right. <laughs> Everybody went home. Yeah. Maybe if they said they got a flat tire or something. Maybe. Careless. <laughs> uh -oh. Damn. Have some firepower. You better pick up the pace there. Pedal to the metal. <laughs> Again. And they are going after them too. That oh crash. my god! Oh. These stunts, dude. Like, I know Landis got in trouble for the shit that he did on film, but yeah. man, these stunts are dangerous. <laughs> Boys, you're in big trouble. I mean, you guys pulled out when they were driving by, so. What are you guys going to do? The same act? They wear the same for cactus suits? You'll scare people away. I just realize they're still wearing their hats and sunglasses in the sauna. How's Mrs. Sly? I might have some information she'd like to know. Oh, blackmail again. You blackmailing me, Jake? Maury, we need this gig. We're on a mission from God. Can Five I get up? Six, uh... <laughs> okay, I'll get you to Palace Hotel. Thanks, Maury. Let's go, boys. <laughs> they were there the whole time. <laughs> These little comedic moments are great. There's that microphone. Sure. The fabulous Blues Brothers. The original social networking. Yeah. 
Word of mouth. Get the word out. Blues review. One night only. The fabulous blues brother. I like that. Yeah, the cut. There you go. But now everybody knows where they're going to be. That's true. Let's put this in the window, lady, because it's real important. Aww. <laughs> <laughs> Aw, he doesn't know. He can't see. Palace Hotel Ballroom, night only. We got him, boys. We're out of gas. The whole way? I guess so. Jake and Elwood are donating the band share of the door money. What? It's noble. That was their mission from God. Could you fill it up with premium, please, and check under the hood? They're showing up. Yeah. A lot of people okay. are showing up. I was worried but nobody was going to be there. <laughs> Worry about them getting there. Yeah. Perfect. Give me troopers Daniel and Mount. I don't see those blues, brothers. There's a motel up on the interstate. Uh, meet uh, around uh, midnight. No, thanks. Classy. So. I'll think about it, Elwood, okay? Oh, jeez. <laughs> nope. And he's smoking too. That side of the room is rowdy. Where are the Blues Brothers? No! No! Oh, damn. Oh. It's just destruction in their wake. What? How'd they end up in a tunnel? I don't know. It's like a sewer system or drainage pipe. Yeah. As soon as they open in the morning. Stash in the car. Oh, uh, okay. Disgust. Uh, that makes sense. There it is. Hit it! <laughs> oh, boy. Yeah, that change. This just reminds me of uh, Family Guy Star Wars. That's just the opening act here. Yeah, you gotta warm them up. Warm yeah. up the crowd. Why not? Hidey, 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 ho. Yeah, there it is. Slinking. Yeah. Sleeping on the job. Can't believe it! Go. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You're having a good time though, everyone's cheering. Oh boy. Clever. Oh, are you gluing it? This is glue. Strong stuff. Yep. Will cause a rapid expansion. Oh boy. Tires will blow up. You can get a clean getaway. Woo! There you go, all nice Try and warmed up. Whistle. I can't do it. <laughs> Nope. Still can't. <laughs> <laughs> how the hell did he change his clothes so fast? <laughs> maybe that's how he felt he was dressed in his head. Yeah, maybe. Now, oh, wait a minute. I've never even heard these boys sing. All right? He wants to check him out. He looks oddly familiar to me. And I want to say he was in Supernatural. <laughs> the cop? Yeah. Who wants an orange whip? Orange whip? Orange whip? Orange whip? What's orange a, whip? What's an orange whip? Now I want one. <laughs> I don't know. Do you got any other flavors? Check for the glass. Excuse us. <laughs> Gotta have an entrance. Yeah. The Blues Brothers. Finally. <laughs> it's harmonicas in there. I'm not feeling it. Damn, uh. that was a good cut. No, Aww. come on, guys. Just a little something. Oh, you're freaking Dan Aykroyd. He's got the moves. Sometimes I feel... There you go. <laughs> I feel like Dan Aykroyd just wrote this movie because he wanted to perform and be a musician. Yeah, maybe. Get on stage and dance and sing and play. Yeah. Uh. <laughs> you. <laughs> Woo! God, John Belushi and Dan Aykroyd together were a force. Yeah. 
<laughs> I'm gonna get you, <laughs> is what he's saying. So they gotta make a fast escape. Look hey, at Dan Acker go, Aykroyd. man. Hell yeah, man. <laughs> he's so lanky, he's just got it. Yeah. Nice. There we go. And these two could have done so much greatness together. So unfortunate. Yeah. You guys were hot. You were great. Insane. I've got to record you. Right now? Oh. We're busy. Here's $10,000. Oh, jeez. Advance on your first recording session. So convenient. <laughs> Give the rest of the band. You got it. Bye. 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 <laughs> <laughs> Well, at least, you know, they're given the money because they could have just been like, yeah, we give 5000 right. for the orphanage and then keep the Take rest, the but rest. they're going to give it to the band. They're good guys. Oh, no. Well, Jake, you look just fine down there. Where's she getting all this firearms and firepower and stuff? Welcome to America. Carrie Fisher is, is already badass, but she looks really badass here <laughs> with all this weaponry. It's good to see you, sweetheart. I stood at the back of a cathedral, 300 friends and relatives in attendance. Oh, no. Romanian caterers in the state. He stood her up at the altar. Oh, please don't kill us. I didn't have enough money for cab fare. My touch didn't come back from the cleaning. All of the excuses. Yeah. There was an earthquake. A terrible flood! Locus! Such a bullshitter. He's gonna win her over. Can't bullshit a bullshitter. There you go. Bring out the mice. The puppy dog eyes. Oh, Jake. <laughs> oh, come on, girl. Okay. He's got that charm. Yeah. We got go. two people from the birds. <laughs> That's true, yeah. Carrie Fisher and Henry Gibson. Yeah. Take it easy. He just dropped her in the oh, fucking no. mouth. It's so messed up. I think Dan Aykroyd was dating Carrie Fisher at this time. Was he? Yeah. Oh, it worked. <laughs> I feel like the way this is, is just like the equivalent of like tying everyone's shoes. Yep. And then falling down like in Casper. But using cars instead. <laughs> yeah. It's 106 miles to Chicago. We got a full tank of gas, half a pack of cigarettes. It's dark and we're wearing sunglasses. Hit it. Oh, they're gonna lose the microphone. <laughs> they don't need it anymore. Oh, she's still going for him. They're all going for him. Now it's a chase. <laughs> uh, Baba, I think I got a little problem. Yeah, yeah. you can't stop now. They're really spraying for the cop cars on the production. <laughs> Even passing <laughs> them. <laughs> oh, damn. Oh shit! Oh no! Oh, you wow. got plenty of time to get out. <laughs> oh! She took him up on it. You missed out! Oh no! I forgot about them. <laughs> Even though I knew we just talked that he was in the movie, but I forgot that they were kind of wanting to go after them too. I gotta pull over. Well, okay, well, that's a hell of a pullover. Oops. Damn, dude. Well. It's like a demolition derby. Damn. I hope no one got hurt during those stunts. Oh, <laughs> oh no! <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> He's all down in the freaking floorboard. We're in a truck! <laughs> <laughs> and that John Candy laugh. Yeah. The broken watch again. Oh damn! And they got the boats. Yeah, everyone. Use of unnecessary violence has been approved. Oh man. You guys set up a shitty roadblock. Yeah. They <laughs> so use any means necessary. Picasso. Picasso. <laughs> I like it. <laughs> the point of view from the hood of the car, too. Like, yeah. they're going fast. And it's actually the actors in there. Yeah. <laughs> fast and Furious ain't got shit on the Bruce <laughs> Brothers. Yeah, right? 
Next, they'll be flying on rooftops. It is Chicago. <laughs> Some car chase, man. All over Chicago, yeah. too. <laughs> Just the mechanics are trying to figure out how to shoot this. Yeah. Woo. Pushing 120. Whoa. Oh. Damn. My butt package. Oh, no. How many cars do you want to wreck? Oh my yes. god. Yes, <laughs> all the cars. I got a little lightheaded on that one. God damn. And there's so wow. many more. How many cars? What are you shooting at? I mean, they're long gone now. Oh, here we go. Oh my <laughs> god. Ride of the Valkyries. Yeah. Oh, geez. oh no, what the fuck was that? Dude. That was like Ace Ventura. <laughs> that was great how they threw all the debris at the car. <laughs> oh. Oh. I'm all stressed out just because of the stunt. Yeah. What the? <laughs> what the <laughs> <laughs> oh shit, man! This is the original Fast and Furious. Oh my god! Oh, oh my god! <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> they drop it out of a plane? I don't know. Bye bye. Yeah. I've always loved you. Oh god. Oh! <laughs> right over their hole. Yeah. That's what she said. I'm <laughs> the other car of them. Woo! Into another building. <laughs> the car's been through a lot. <laughs> now hurry. Come on. Those Landis statues. He did that in Trading Places where he uh -huh. just focuses on the statues. Yeah. The old cigarette vending machines. Just everything. <laughs> yeah. Trash, that'll help. With their guns all drawn. <laughs> it's about right. Just give us a shot in the elevator and the elevator music. Getting the army involved. Damn. All the people watching. There you go. A break from the madness. They had to do that kind of shot. Yeah. A tank? Okay, now you're just being ridiculous. <laughs> hey man, Fast and Furious brought tanks to the party too. <laughs> you guys. Oh, I love it. It's so absurd. Like it's bo it's spoof, but it's like still grounded, you yeah. know? Yeah. The MP's doing there. I oh, know. So Do you see two guys coming here? Black suit, black hat. I just sent them down there. Thank you. I love it. It's so it's over the chaos. top. It's chaos. Great. Complete chaos. <laughs> Please show them in the elevator. <laughs> <laughs> Even better. Oh damn. You had that on you the whole time. Right. Hot, 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 oh. Hot, hot. Wow. Oh my gosh. What if it went whoop? So stupid. Good thing. You don't even know what floor. Uh. I, hey, man. Whatever helps. Every little bit. Yeah. Uh. Son of a bitch. Are you kidding me? Like the grand scale of this and the practical effects and everything and the just the over-the-top nature of it with the yeah. extras and cops and cars. It kind of reminds me of like, it's a mad, 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 mad world. Yeah. Can I help you? Hey! It's Steven Spielberg! Yeah. That makes sense. That's why they pay the taxes, right? 
Five thousand bucks. It's all there, pal. Fire! Jeez. I feel like they really shot up the door. Uh... And here is your receipt. Done. <laughs> oh gee. Ah, <laughs> uh, now they're in prison. Yeah. Putting on the show. Walk through party in the county Perfect. jail. They're all there. Yeah. Let's rock. Everybody let's rock. Oh, well, the dance to the jail has rock. I love when the guitars are in sync just yeah. with their movements. Riling up the inmates. Yeah. Whoa! There we go. They're like, thank you, we'll be here for five years. I know. <laughs> yeah! There we go, we're gonna get everybody. Yeah. This is great. I love that they're giving everybody a yeah, moment. Yeah, because there's some people that are like, oh, oh they seem familiar. Oh, oh, oh my god! Okay. I have no idea. Nice. Oh, oh, that's awesome. Cool. God damn, again. A lot of stunts. Yeah. I love that they dedicated all the stunts right after the cast. Yeah. God music by Elmer Bernstein. <laughs> Which makes sense because Elmer Bernstein did Trading Places as well. Yeah. And Ghostbusters. So the Blues Brothers finally entered our minds. Absurd. Crazy over yeah. the top. The stunts, the car wrecks, the crashes. I mean, I had no idea that it was Fast and Furious level insanity, especially for the last act of the movie. Yeah. L like you said, it, during the movie, it did very much feel like, you know, uh, it's a mad, mad, mad world when everything is just going haywire at the end, the, the car chase, just the chase in general. Like, it really escalated at that point because at the beginning, I feel like it was kind of mild. You had that mini chase that they had a, a little bit at the beginning of the movie, but sure. man, did it, did it just skyrocketed from there and i absolutely love when like the musical moments that they had in the in the in the movie and bringing like legendary musicians and artists sure. like aretha franklin james brown ray charles like it was just awesome to have them there and utilizing chicago utilizing the city utilizing the streets the people that's one thing that i do love about a lot of the movies from like the the 80s and 70s too is that it was gritty because you were at street level you know you really got a feel for uh what it took to make the movie everybody was involved if you look at the credits they thank almost every single department of chicago because it took a city to create those scenes especially the final chase through chicago because i mean nowadays they'll go and overseas and replicate the city because you can't really do that you can't shut down cities like that to achieve these kinds of chases and on location shots and man here they really went for it and by far one of the craziest most uh organic high-speed chase i've seen on film like for me is the french connection so if you haven't seen the french connection okay. there's a hell of a car chase that does go down towards the end of the movie there yeah. and this one was on that level in my eyes just because of how dangerous it seems and granted we do know that john landis and a lot of filmmakers back then did throw caution into the wind it was a very dangerous time for being yeah. anybody on the crew stuntmen actors and unfortunately tragedy did strike and has struck back then and more recently too when it comes to these stunts so it's always nail biting when you're watching this go down and you're seeing the the commotion and the action that <laughs> looks cool but in reality creating those moments incredibly dangerous right. too like you gotta figure people got hurt mm -hmm. doing these stunts that's very very true like it, there was definitely moments when they had like all the cars crashing and then the car going into the water like there were so many stunts happening in this movie that you're just hoping like oh hopefully they were safe at those moments and 
It's very physical. Yeah. It, there, there was a lot of practical effort that went into yeah. making this movie, especially just from the actors, too, because there were so many moments when the camera is on the hood of the car and you've got, you know, Elwood and Jake in there hauling ass. And then granted, they could speed up the film, but they were also speaking. So unless they slowed down their dialogue, you know, mm -hmm. when they spoke to speed it up and it was matching the words we were seeing, yeah. which tells me, damn, you guys are in a dangerous situation to get these shots. But John Belushi and, of course, Dan Aykroyd were incredible in these roles. They were so chill. They were so smooth. Even though all this commotion and craziness was going around them, going on around them, they were just so casual about the whole situation that, <laughs> yeah. you know, you didn't really feel uh, too much anxiety because they were so calm in the situation. So mm -hmm. you knew it was going to work out for them, even yeah. though everyone around them was in epic madness. So... The Blues Brothers, if you saw this movie, what was your experience watching it when you were younger? When was the first time you watched it? Did you go in theaters, watch it on VHS? Let us know in the comments below. You can also like and subscribe. And do the thing on our Facebook, Twitter, Tumblr, Instagram, Discord. All the social networking gin joints, you know where they are. Kick into the party, fuel the party, keep the party going. On our Patreon, you can vote on the next movie for Better Late Than Never there. But thanks so much, and as always. And now it's time to say goodbye. This party is over. Bye. Bye. Thank <laughs> you.